So I've got Shane with me today, the king of spin. <laughs> and we're going to talk about Yassi Shah and leg spin bowling and the subtle variations. Yeah. Firstly, Warney, I think it's important we talk about the leg break. Yep, very important. I think, you know, I think we haven't seen the best of Yassi Shah so far in this series, but occasionally we just saw the odd glimpse of it yesterday. I thought his leg break yesterday came out OK. And uh, he bowled it pretty well yesterday. And I just want to show you a couple of things here. Here's the leg break. Uh, this is the sorry, sorry the slider. I, this I, was the slider. I've, I've actually stuffed you up there, mate. Yeah, yeah have a look at this. Slide. Just pause this on the grip here. Just go back a tad here. Here we go. I just want to pick up something. So we've seen Bolly's standard leg break, and we see all that sort of stuff. But it's sometimes it's the subtlety of the of the of the wrist you've got to pick up, but also the position of the ball. If you have a look at the seam here, if you just draw a line on that seam there, Tubbs. Have a look at that seam there. That's more like a seamer's delivery that'll come out like that. You see the fast bowlers bowl with a seam like that. And then the leg spin-up would normally be like that, with a seam across. And so what that'll look like there would be that way for a normal leg break. What we're seeing here is that Yassi Shah has changed the ball down like a seamer, and he's gone up. So if you put that up, you can see that seam's going that way. And what that means is he'll come down the side of the ball, and that will go straight on and fast. And we see Nick Maddinson play for the leg break and play inside it because he's played for the turn. And if you keep rolling that on, Tubbs, that'll slide on beautifully and go past Maddinson's outside edge. You can see here that's all scrambled. There's no angle on that seam at all. And the ball does skid on and he plays inside the line and it goes on to hit the stump. So that is meant to happen. That's just yep. not a bit of natural variation. Now that was definitely meant to happen. You can see that change of seam position. And now if we should show you a leg break that he bowls normally, that you're talking about at the start, it's very important to have that stock ball leg break and be able to land it where you want to. Here it is, around the wicket, left-hander again. This time it's Matthew Wade. So everything's exactly the same. And you just watch, if we stop this just here, you can see this time the seam. Just go back, there you go, right there. Yeah, okay. You can see that seam right here, this time, is going that way there. You can see it all, sorry, that way right there instead of clear that there instead of going across that way as we just saw before so this one here is the normal leg break and you can see it go down the wicket as we just showed you before to a leg break to Matthew Wade and you can see the seam going down like that trying to spin look at that perfect there yeah. Tubbs yeah it's great look at the seam angle there you can see it, it's it's you can see it's a definite seam angle there's a rotation of the ball and that seam with well, the ball is going to land on that seam and spin towards well first, first slip, slip for a right hander or leg slip if you're a Matthew Wade left hand yeah and you can see look it's like that that's how the ball's going down there and that'll spin into the bat Matthew Wade plays for the turn and knocks it down the ground so the difference between bowling one like that a leg break and bowling a leg break like that, we're coming down on the side of the ball, will mean the ball goes straight. And one of the reasons I know I picked that up was when I played cricket in Hampshire, they don't have these kookaburra balls, they have the juke ball. And we've always talked about the juke ball, about the lacquer that it has on the ball. And it was drizzling and raining and the quicks out of bowl and I couldn't grip the ball properly. Yeah. So I thought, oh, well, how am I going to do this? So I tried to grip the ball like that, so I had more stuff on there. And I just thought I would came back and bowl a leg break. And I went straight and I went, oh, hang on a minute. So I kept trying to do it. And I remember I started to do it during the 2001 Ashes series. Yeah. And then in Australia, it was raining in Adelaide. Yeah. And we were all off. And I came back out to finish an over or to bowl an over. And Alex Shaw was on strike. I said, you know what? I might even try and start up straight away with a slider just to get the ball. It was yeah. a little bit damp. Try to get the ball to slide on. And Alex, you no need for DRS, mate. That's absolutely <laughs> salmon trout. That's out. There's no doubt, though, that ball really did skid on. You can see there, once again, you're holding it the down seam. the seam. And you watch this ball here. There's absolutely no turn on the ball. It's it skids straight on. He's playing for turn. Yeah. Pitching, what, just outside off, hitting him in front of middle and off. Absolutely plump. Yeah, come on, Alec. You don't do play for turn there, mate. Watch the hand. And just but... tell us about the earring, mate. What's going on there? <laughs> hey? I tell you what, young and fresh there, wasn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Earring, short hair, looking very sharp, I, mate. Very I, sharp. I feel very sorry for Rudy Kurtzman, mate. You put a lot of pressure on him there, but that was absolutely plump. Good so, there, so there you go, a bit of subtle variation in leg spin bowling.